Dr. Lehman quickly confirms the cause of death, pneumonia. Sometimes I'm just amazed that the lungs are so full of scar tissue, you wonder how they could have survived that long. But keeping in line with protocol, Dr. Lehman continues the internal exam, and it's a good thing he does. When he opened up the stomach, then he knew he wasn't dealing with an ordinary vehicular accident. But it isn't what he sees, it's what he smells. The smell was, was terrible. Dr. Lehman thinks he recognizes this ominous odor as cyanide. Cyanide smells like almonds, bitter almonds, or like strong bleach. And it, it kind of almost painful to your nose when you smell it. The smell is only familiar to Dr. Lehman because of his training as a chemist. Cyanide is a, a very unusual chemical in that some people can smell it and some people can't. And the, the ability to smell cyanide is inherited. 60% of people just can't smell cyanide. They just don't have the ability genetically to smell it. I don't think I have the ability. I've had a cyanide case where I wasn't able to smell that bitter almonds. So Dr. Lehman was also lucky that he had the ability to smell cyanide. But a discovery of poison in John's body is completely inconsistent with the rest of Dr. Lehman's findings. I'm doing an autopsy where I already have a cause of death, and I know John Powell died from pneumonia. So what I'm thinking is, this smells like cyanide, uh, but it has to be something else. 